What's up everyone, Willy Apple here, and today Apple has released the fourth beta of macOS Sequoia 50.1 to developers. In this video, I'll be showing you what is new inside the software. We've got a lot of exciting stuff to talk about. Let's get started. Now, the first thing I'd like to talk about is that macOS Sequoia 15.1 is now available on Intel Macs. So it's still supported on all the macOS Sequoia Macs. But just letting you know that if you have an Intel Mac and you want to update, you can now update right away. Alright, what is new here inside of macOS Sequoia? The first thing is, if you were to click up here and go to Siri, it's still broken and sometimes show on one screen, but now it seems a little bit fixed. First thing you might see is that the animation seems a little bit different when you want to type to Siri. And then if you want to type to Siri, let's just say Willy Widgets, eventually it should come up with some suggestions. So if I type in Willy Widgets right here, it will say open Willy Widgets. Some other things will come up like, I think if you do 3 plus 3, something should come up. No, I guess it does not. But certain actions will now come up. So I guess a lot of the suggestions are mainly just opening up apps. And maybe some more will come in the future. So if you find some more suggestions inside of Siri, let me know in the comments down below. Now, next change has to do with the controversial pop-ups for screen recording. So before they were now monthly pop-ups, but now when I request a new app, it no longer mentions that it's now a month. It now just says Zoom is now requesting to bypass the system's private window picker and directly access your screen and audio. So I'm not sure if it's still a month, but Apple has reworded this a little bit. It's sounding like that Apple just isn't mentioning it at all. Maybe this pop-up will come up randomly, which is still unfortunate to see. But who knows, maybe Apple is no longer making it a month and it's just now forever. And now they'll just make it a little bit more prominent up here for screen recording. It still doesn't look like it's prominent. It looks just as prominent as it is now. But they mostly reworded this. We'll take a look and see if it's still a month or not. If I have any updates on it, I'll let you know in the pinned comment. Now, next change has to do with the Photos app. So we got a brand new splash screen here inside the Photos app, mainly just showing off the iOS 18 features. And there's even a section that comes up that talks about the cleanup feature for Apple Intelligence. All right, so I'm gonna try removing the capture button right here and let's see if it removes it. Yeah, it looks like it did a pretty good job with that. Now let's try the pause button. All right, yeah. Oh, that did a pretty good job with the pause button right there. And maybe let's do the stop button as well and see how well that does. Oh my, okay, I think it might be a lot better here. Let's try doing this. This should probably be pretty easy to do. Now let's try removing this and see if it will clean it up a little bit. And yeah, clean up my shirt a little bit. It looks like the cleanup feature is now a little bit better. Or maybe a lot better here as well. Inside this latest beta of Sequoia, inside the Photos app. Now the next change is also inside the Photos app has to do with the search field. So if you were to search up... For example, 2023, and let's do study. It now comes up right away. You, before you would just need to press enter in order for it to come up, but now all you gotta do is just type and it will start searching automatically. I bet it will make searching a lot better. Now our next change has to do with low power mode. So if we were to turn on low power mode and go to always, for example, and then let me just do this real fast, you will now see that the battery indicator turns yellow upon turning on low power mode. It's the same thing if I were to put it on, on power adapter or on battery. It turned white because I'm currently plugged in, but let me unplug real fast. And you'll see that it turns yellow right away, making it just a little bit more consistent with iOS which is extremely nice to see right here. So I'm just gonna set to never for now, but low power mode has a brand new yellow indicator on macOS Sequoia 15.1. Now our next change has to do with the Messages app. We got a little bug fix for the Messages app. So if I were to hold an icon before if I moved my cursor around just even the slightest bit, it would jitter around just a little bit. Now it's just very smooth and very silky which is how it was supposed to be. So uh, it's really nice to see that Apple has finally fixed this feature. Now, next change has to do with notifications and, and Apple intelligence. And we and we got a new feature that came from iOS, but wasn't inside of macOS quite yet. We now have summaries inside the notification center. In fact, upon updating on an Apple Silicon Mac, you will be prompted to set this up. And we also got a brand new welcome to Mac animation. It now does an Apple intelligence animation. I can't really describe it, but you'll just have to trust me on that when updating to macOS Sequoia 15.1 Beta 4. Now let's talk about RAM and storage issues of this latest beta. So letting it set a little bit, you could see it was re-indexing a couple of things, but now it has stopped re-indexing it, and it's using 4.45 gigabytes of RAM, and that's pretty much it. And if we were to go inside of system settings and then go into storage right here, 
we could see macOS is using just 36.02 gigabytes in total. I will have the number on the screen of what it was inside of beta 3. And it looks like this latest beta kind of improves a couple of things with storage and memory usage. Now that is everything here that we've got inside this latest beta. We got quite a bit. And thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, share this with your friends. Download my apps in the description down below. There are Sequoia ready. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!